Hey guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at the difference between arithmetic and geometric sequences. So up the top we've got a six number arithmetic sequence and down the bottom here we've got a six number geometric sequence. So when we're talking about arithmetic sequences, they are sequences which move by a constant. A constant, and this is referred to as the common difference. There's another video about that if you want to have a look. Um, so common difference, Oops. difference. So as you can see here, we start with the number three, then six, then nine, then twelve, then fifteen, then eighteen. So if we want to find the difference or the common difference, we can use the six minus three. So three to six increases by three. Six to nine increases by three. 9 to 12 increases by 3, 12 to 15 increases by 3, and 15 to 18 increases by 3. So we move up by a constant every single time, and we call this the common difference. Uh, so for our geometric sequence, uh, our geometric sequence we're moving by a constant ratio every single time. So it's this idea of a constant ratio. So if we come down here to our geometric sequence, uh, we, we've got the same two first numbers as our arithmetic sequence, but we can see that 3 to 6, that's also that's 2 times, 6 to 12, so that's multiplying by 2, 12 to 24, that's multiplying by 2, 24 to 48 is multiplying by 2, and 48 to 96 is multiplying by 2. And we call this ratio here, so the fact that it's doubling every time, that is what we call the common ratio. So geometric sequences we're always scaling up by say a factor of 2, and for an arithmetic sequences, sequence we're always moving up by a constant. So if we wanted to kind of graph these and have a look and see what I guess both of them look like, we can just draw some axes down here. So we can draw these two axes. Um, so for our arithmetic sequence, we know we start at 3. So for both sequences, we're going to start at 3. And then we're going to move to 6. And we're going to move to 9, 12. And it's going to form this perfect straight line. So arithmetic sequences will form this perfect straight line because they're always moving by this constant. So 6, 9. But if we look at a geometric sequence, so it starts at 3, and then the next point is 6, but then the next point is 12 after that, and then we've got 24 after that. So we can see geometric sequences kind of have this curved shape. So geometric sequences have a common ratio and a curved shape, whereas arithmetic sequences move by a constant and then they have this constant shape up over time. So that's the difference between the two. I'll go into more detail and I'll put out a video for each of them. Thanks guys.